Hey guys, it's your girl, Lash Stoney XO in the house. Um, today I'm reviewing, but I'm bump. It is the Graveyard Girls Swamp Queen palette. I'm gonna review this for you guys. Um, I got a request to review it. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, and it's by Tarte. If you're wondering, the brand is by Tarte, so she collabed with with Tarte. And then on the back of the box, it has her picture on there. It says Graveyard Girl. Okay, so here's the palette itself. Very super shiny. Um, so I'm trying not to blind you guys if I angle it right. Um, I'm gonna read you. Uh, I will read you the color, the larger colors. And then we'll, we will go to these colors, these colors, and then these colors. Um, so the larger colors, the one starting from the top right here, is called Sweet Tea. Um, and I'm going to swatch it for you guys. And I think I'm going to do it underhanded this time because it just feels more smooth like your face and not how the top of your arm feels. So, I want to be able to do it where you'll be able to see it. So, this is Sweet Tea. Actually, it is not as shimmery as I thought it was going to be. Which is very cool. Because I thought it was going to be a super shimmery color. Where, oh my god, look at my, do not look at my elbow, you guys. That is embarrassing. We're going to cut the elbow off there. Okay. So, that is Sweet Tea. It's very, very pigmented. Very beautiful. Very pigmented. Love it. Okay. The next one is this gorgeous, the pink one right here. The shimmery. It looks shimmery, but it's probably not. Um, and it's right here. And let me just tell you, this palette smells yummy. It almost smells like it has something sweet in it. I don't know what, but it just smells amazing. Um, so we're going to swatch the pink one and it is called Does This Thing Really Work? You know if you ever watch her channel, she does a lot of um, the TV the trial. Um, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time you guys. She tries out things um, on TV so I guess that's where the name came from. And this one is a little more shimmery than this one. But it's very smooth, very buttery. So all these shades, that are the pink one, and this is Sweet Tea right here. It's a very bronzy color. Oh, that elbow is hideous. Um, and like I said, the pink one is Does This Thing Really Work? The one underneath it looks like diamonds to me. This one right here. I'm hoping it's sparkly because I want it to be sparkly. So I'm going to swatch that one beside it. I'm hoping it's like a like a highlighter or something. I don't know. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Anyway, this is Gator Wings. Um, does it really work? And Sweet Tea. And they're all three extremely pigmented, I would say. Okay, now we're going to swap, swatch some more. And then I'm going to play with them a little bit. Um, okay, these three right down here. The one at the bottom is called Haunting. If you know, if you ever watch Graveyard Girl, she talks a lot about um, her house being haunted and stuff like that. So, um, and I know she's into all that like scary stuff like me. I love Halloween is my favorite holiday. Halloween is her favorite ho holiday. So, um, I feel like me and Graveyard Girl have a lot in common actually. So this is called Haunting. Um, and it is like a pale purple. Not sure how it's going to come across here. But we are going to swatch it. It's a very, it's like a, is it the same color as my nails? No. It is more of a taupe, taupey purple, I would say. Um, so, yeah. So, this one is a very light shade, but it's still, 
still pigmented. Um, the one over that one is called Big Baby. And it is a complete matte. So this one is a complete, complete matte. So I can find a finger to swatch it on. So this is totally matte. So this could be a good um, base to start with on your lid. Um, just kind of pat your lid down with, um, what did I say it was called? Big Baby. And just kind of pat it all over your lid for a base. Um, so this might not, um, yeah. Here it is right here. You're not going to be able to see it really because it is more of a base color. Not really a shadow color, I guess you would say. So that is Big Baby right there. So, so far, the large shadows, or whatever you want to call them, I guess that could be a blush and a highlight and a bronzer. That might be what she put those in for. I'm not really sure. But that's what I would probably use them for because this looks like a really pretty bronzer. And this looks like a really pretty blush and a really pretty highlight. So, I think I would probably use those for face, but you can use them for, for eyes too. Um, okay, the next one is a shimmer again. We're still on this first row. Sorry to blind you guys. We're still on this first row right here. I'm going to go to the top one. It's a shimmer and it's called, it's called, um, it says hashtag SFS. I'm not really sure what that means, but, um, probably if I think about it. It's this one right here. So let's swatch this bad boy. This looks like it'd be a really pretty, pretty lid. I really like um, bronzy, pinky shades for lid colors. And if you can see that, it's a very bronzy, pinky color. So. That like padded, padded, like if you pat, I can't talk. If you put it on the lid, I think it would be a super pretty color. Um, the next row is over here. This one right here. Um, this one is called Uncommon. And I'm going to switch to this hand and this, I guess we're going to go here maybe because I have a tattoo here and well, I could do it here, I guess. What's well, right here? Okay, so uncommon. It's the bottom row. So we'll swatch it right here. Ooh, that's that was very pigmented. I didn't even hardly even press down on it, I just went across. It is a shimmery purple. So let me try to put more on there because that was like very pigmented. This color is gorgeous. I love this color. This would be a really good lid color also. I just, woo, it's just sliding across my arm. Really, really pretty color. Um, again, that is, what is it, what did I say it was called? Um, Uncommon. Very gorgeous color. Um, the one above that is called Sassy Bun. And it looks like a cinnamon bun. It has a gold tone to it so let's let's try this one it's very golden color like a cinnamon bun so this is sassy bun Ooh, very pigmented I am okay this side right here is extremely extremely pigmented oh it slides across look at that look at that shine gorgeous those are highly pigmented. I am not kidding you guys. That is beautiful. So, so far we have these colors right here. These colors wasn't as pigmented or they were just super light. Um, these four colors right here. These three are maize balls. 
and these two are like almost like a full shadow they're so freaking pretty okay now the top one is a matte and it is called natural peaches natural peaches okay so let's try that one we'll put it under here again it's a very light color but it's a matte so it's going to be used as a base color or a transition transition color so that's that one again it's called natural peaches these are still my two favorite and these three right here my favorites um okay the last row is got a lot of oh that one's got a lot of sparkle so we got a burnt orange color is called dog man which is her husband's uh nickname and sippy sippy which is what she does with her drink every day she takes a sip and she does her sippy sippy so that is that one and if you know if you watch her channel she loves sweet tea and that's why she named everything is about the stuff that she loves so you've got haunted you got gator wings you got does this thing really work you have sweet tea you have dog man sippy sippy man cat is the one at the bottom so these are the three we're fixing to swatch man cat sippy sippy and dog man so let's go with man cat first um we will this one it looks like it's going to be super pigmented because and it is a matte but it is super dark so we're gonna check this out yeah i figured that would be super super pigmented and super dark so that is a beautiful color that is gorgeous look at that look at those colors beautiful okay so that one again is man cat we're gonna swap swipe underneath with sippy sippy and then underneath that we're gonna swap swipe dog man and then i'm gonna play around with some color let's do sippy sippy i'm really interested in see it it's so glittery i'm just very curious oh my god i might have put too much on my hand here wow that is the prettiest eyeshadow I think I've ever seen. And it is so pigmented. Do you see the glitter in that shadow? OMG. That, look at my finger. Oh my gosh. There's so much glitter in that shadow. It's called Sippy Sippy. And oh my God. To put that for the holidays and pack it on your lid. Oh, it'd be so pretty. New Year's, that would be super pretty for New Year's. I'm trying to think of holidays coming up. I mean, of course, it's a long ways away, but I'm just trying to think of holidays. Like, it was your birthday, like New Year's, Christmas parties. I mean, look at that. All that sparkle. That is so pigmented. Oh, my gosh. That is gorgeous. Okay. The last one um, is Dog Man, which, of course, is her husband's nickname. This one looks like it's going to be super pigmented, too. Um, Homegirl did her work. Gorge. Look at that. That is a gorgeous pumpkin. Oh, I've got it all over me. Sorry. That is a gorgeous pumpkin color right there. Okay. So, here's the shadows. They're amazing. Look how beautiful they are. Oh, my gosh. Look. They're so pigmented. Oh my gosh, love them, love them, love them. I gotta go get this and wash my hands and then get some brushes so we can play. So I will be right back, guys. Hold on one second. Hey guys, okay, I I wipe my hand, I mean, my arms and my hands, but look, these shadows are not coming off unless I get some major scrubbing going on. But look, they're just, they're staying on. So that's pretty cool. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, okay, so I am going to kind of play around with this palette. I think I'm going to use, this is a bronzer, this is a blush, this is a highlight, and just add another, maybe a couple more shades to my eyes, just to give, just to play around with it. 
even though I like I said I do have makeup on I'm just curious to see how these work well with each other okay so um I think I'm gonna try the bronzer a little bit I think it's a bronzer and I mean when I swatched it it looks kind of bronzy so I'm gonna just take this angled brush right here it is um, the uh, Luxie 504 large angle brush and I'm just gonna dip it lightly I'm just gonna kind of I'm using it as a bronzer but just kind of go around to where I, how I normally use my bronzer there's a little bit of powder fallout and again with makeup there's really no rules I don't feel like there is I mean some people might like might be like oh, you're not supposed to use it like that but to me there's no rules when it comes to makeup I mean if you um, see something that you want to use for a bronzer or if you see a gorgeous shimmery color that you might want to use for highlights then by all means I think you should be able to do what you want to with your look with your face um, and I'm just gonna Kind of put a little bit more color into my skin with this sweet tea bronzer i'm calling it a bronzer i don't know if it is or not but um i am using it as a bronzer put a little bit on my chin and then put it a little bit under my chin bring it down okay So, to me, that looks like a bronzer. I don't know about you guys, but it looks like a bronzer to me. So, again, that was the one I just used is Sweet Tea. And when you first look at it, it looks like it's got shimmer in it. But the first swipe, there was no shimmer whatsoever in it. And I just kind of used it as a bronzer just to touch up because my face was looking a little pale. Um, yeah, so that's what I did. Okay, so next thing we're going to play with, I'm going to use this color called Does This Thing Really Work? It is a pretty pink. I'm just going to use it as a blush color, basically. There's a little bit of a um, sparkle, but not much at all. I'm going to pop up those little cheekbones. Now this stuff is very pigmented, so I would say be careful. Yeah, so you would think that I used blush and bronzer, but like I said, I don't even know if this is blush and bronzer. I guess I should have read the thing, but I put this color right here on the apples of my cheeks and this color as a bronzer um and i don't know i'm gonna use this gorgeous color called gator wings that's probably meant for the eyes but i'm using it as a highlight because to me it looked like a highlighter and i'm just gonna put um i think i'm gonna put some just gonna go across here maybe um i have two different highlighter brush brushes i have this one i use and sometimes i use this one i don't really know which one i want to use but We'll use this one first and see how it goes. Um, like, like I said, this stuff is very pigmented. So, don't want to go too crazy. I'm going to use this this one um and see if it works better on this side all right i like using this it's just so much easier for me just a couple swipes
Okay, so let's check out how I used the gator wings. Super pretty, right? So, so far, I use these three really big, big colors for my face. And I think it looks amazing. Um, I think it really, really looks pretty. Like, I would totally use these large ones for my face. I just, this looks like a bronzer to me, a blush, and a highlight. And if you don't want to use it that way, you can totally use it as shadow. But I'm telling you that um it really is super pigmented and i think that the cool thing about this palette it's so versatile like when i first seen it i was like okay there's too much shimmer in that palette but then when i really paid attention to it you can use it on your face and your eyes which i think is awesome sauce okay before i go i've got to play with the sippy sippy which is this color right here it was that really intense uh glitter shade and i want to pop it on my lid but um we're gonna see what we can do here i'm gonna use my mirror sorry guys i'm gonna use my mirror because it's hard for me to see that far Okay, I will let you know um, with this glitter one I've just used it has some major fallout. Can you see that? So I'm gonna have to go in with um, this little brush right here and my powder brush. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Okay, so this is what it looks like, the sippy sippy, and I am going to blend it in. I'm just going to go back and forth and swipe it. I am wearing uh, the balm um, shadow that I got, Meet, meet, um, meet Matrimony. I am wearing that in my crease today, so I just blended the sippy sippy. I put it on my lid. A lot of the sparkle, I think if you pack it on with your finger, you will get more of the sparkle than what I did. I used the brush and all the sparkle just kind of fell on my face basically is what happened. So with that one, I would say wet your brush and do it that would probably be, be best or pack it with your finger but since i had lashes and all that on there i really didn't want to make a huge mess but i kind of did um so yeah i think if you wet this i think it would be a lot better let me see if i can wet it and then do this one wet and see if there's a difference with the glitter hold on one second guys Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, I just did this eye with a wet brush. Oh my God, such an improvement. I will show you. You can see the glitter on my eye. You can, can you see that? I don't know because my eyes are closed. So I would definitely say the really, really glittery ones, I would say wet your brush and then put them on the eye and pack and like pack it on um with this one i you can tell that i totally did it wrong what i did was i just got a regular brush and i just dipped it in there and swiped it back and forth and all that did was flake off all the glitter and it fell onto my face and then i had to wipe off all the glitter off my face so this side did not leave any glitter on my face it stayed on my lid if you can see it looks really pretty and i think it'd be really pretty for a party this side it made it more of a, a bronzy natural look i would say and this side just gave it a lot more glam 
So anyway, I'm definitely going to have to give this palette a hell yeah, a thumbs up. I think Graveyard Girl did her homework with Tarte. And it is an amazing palette. I would highly recommend it. I mean, if you love shimmer and you're a girly girl and you love to play with makeup, this is going to be your new best friend. Let me just tell you. They are selling out like hotcakes. So, if you want to get you one, when I was at my Ulta, they had two left. Um, I got mine from Ulta. And so, hopefully, you can get your hands on this before they sell out. Because I'm telling you, there, you could use it for a bronzer. You could use it for a blush, highlights, and this Gorge shimmer color right here is my favorite. Sippy Sippy is gorgeous. I really like it with a wet brush instead of the dry brush over here. It's just a little heads up. You live in you long girls. Hey, that's the way we that's the way we do, right? I just want to say thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I just want to say I love you guys to pieces. Bye guys. If you want to see any more palette reviews, I've got a shit ton. Of new palettes. So if you want to see any more palette reviews, my Becca. Um, I've got the uh, what is the other palette that I just got? Damn it! I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, it's going. It's gonna go dead. But if you want to see a review on this one, or on this one, or on this one, or on this one, these are all my new palettes. I just want to say I love you guys to pieces. Please, please give this video a thumbs up. Bye, guys. Love you.